Hello everyone and welcome to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin'. I'll tell you what, at one time we were a beautiful little cherry blossom. <laughs> now Merrill's a big plump cherry. <laughs> and this is Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. We are in Southern Door County in Wisconsin, Forestville, Wisconsin, Country Ovens, and it's all things and everything cherries today. So stay tuned for a great show, folks, you little blossom Merrill. I've been a plump cherry all my life. You have. <laughs> Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you by Modern Home Products, the makers of MHP, Phoenix and Profire Grills, Cherry Delight, Brew Pub Pizza, Wisconsin Potatoes, Sundrop Soda, Merck's Cheese Spread, and by Glorious Malone's Fine Sausage. Hey folks, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. As I did mention, we are at Country Ovens. Country Ovens makes some great products, Cherry Delight, and when you visit Country Ovens in Forestville, Wisconsin. It is not just everything cherries, but it's all things cherries. And they got a great country store behind us here and you can shop until you drop. Great products that we're gonna be using here today and much, much more. That is for gosh darn sure. It's a great store. It you know, really I is. mean, it's something completely different if you're up here in Dora County, it's something unique. It's a destination, Mr. It is Merrill. a destination, it's always a destination. And I'll tell you what, and, and, and I, I remember when we first started doing Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Growing, we were up in Door County and we had the, uh, um, the duct tape guys on? We oh, did, yeah, sa we did yeah. salmon yep, on the yep. grill. The two Tims, that's right. The two Tims. So we're, we're kind of duplicating <laughs> things. We're doing uh, Door County again, and we're doing salmon on that's the right, grill. That's right, that's right. And gorgeous wild caught salmon or white fish, whatever your flair may be, oh, is phenomenal there. to do. And I've got a nice cut on the grill that we're doing plank cooking, but we got a great recipe. And you can go to countryovens.com, click on the recipes, and there's a list of recipes like you wouldn't believe from desserts to hors d'oeuvres to main courses to appetizers, those would be hors d'oeuvres. That's correct, sir, very good. And uh, one of the recipes we're doing here today, I'm doing a Cajun rub in a second or two. Uh, Merrill's gonna do it, let me do the Cajun rub. Yeah, go ahead, start and, off and there. And the Cajun rub that they call for is a garlic pepper blend. So we're using Mad Dog and Merrill's Grilling Magic where there's garlic and pepper blended together with a little brown sugar and parsley. And you can find Grilling Magic right up here at Country Ovens, they got a great selection of Mad Dog and Merrill spices and our Dell Works products. So we have a little bit of the garlic pepper blend over the top. It calls for cayenne. So of course we're doing a little Cajun. So we're gonna do a little cayenne pepper over the top of that. So this is a regular dry rub. Normally I'd oil the salmon before I did all this, but we're gonna try it this way here. All right. It'll come out just wonderful. It will. And thyme, thyme is a great flavor when it comes to Cajun cooking. So we're gonna add a little bit of thyme on top of there. Now I've got the grill set for a nice medium direct heat, medium direct heat. Now a wild caught salmon this thin 10 to 12 minutes, medium direct heat. When it starts to bead white, uh, that's when the product is done, the salmon is done. But maybe 10 to 12 minutes, if you got the farm raised Atlantic that's a little thicker, you know, 15 to 20 minutes or so. So I'm gonna place this skin side down directly on the grates of the grill. And in between the skin and the meat is where most of the omegas live, or are, the great flavors for you, healthiness. Uh, so we're gonna leave the skin on here, and I'm gonna place this directly on the grates of the grill, a nice medium on our MHP grill, a medium direct heat, and I'm just gonna simply lay that right down, skin side down, and if you folks time that, I bet you within 12 minutes that baby will be done. You're right, you're Delicious. right. I mean, a lot of people don't realize that, that it's very easy to do. If you really wanna do fish on the grill, I think salmon's a good one to start out with. It, it's the most forgiving. You know, it is. Just it's like your wife. Oh, she's forgiven me for a long time, brother. <laughs> what about Locked the sauce, it. big hey, guy? Hey, we're going to do a sauce. It's a very nice uh, sauce to do. It's very easy. And, of course, for me, if I could do it, anybody could do it. That is for uh, sure. That is for sure. Let's start out with a little sunflower oil here. And uh, I'm going to put this in the cast iron skillet. And on this, we're going to do a cherry sauce. And we're going to heat that up. We're going to ask, first of all, add some dried cherries in here. And you can use as many as if you'd li as as much as you'd like on there. I'm gonna use quite a bit. But a half a cup. Yeah, because we're gonna let that go ahead and and uh, set it there, warm up. And it really makes a nice sauce. The dried cherries is just amazing on the flavor on them. It really is. And they, and they hydrate back up, which is really nice. So they become a little more softer, and they're delicious. You know, we had a grill off last year, and the guy that won basically made a bourbon cherry sauce, which is absolutely fantastic. So I got the cherry delight dried cherries. I'm going to use about a half of a uh, You okay cutting liner. with that little part? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got it, sir. About a half a lime? A half a lime. Put the lime in the coconut. Me, here we're putting it in the cherries. Let me open up the cherry syrup. You're a good you. man. Now, if you wanted to on this lime, you've seen us do this before. This is a really nice juicy lime. You find out the limes are a little tough, put them on the grill and let them go for about 10, 15 minutes. You would be surprised at the amount of juice that you get from them. And now we're also going to add some 
cherry syrup on here. That is like real cherry yeah, syrup. Yeah, I, I mean, use to your proportions what you're going to like. You know, I always like using the old taste method. We're going to go ahead and set that on the grill and just let that simmer. Go oh, there we go. <laughs> We had it on the grill already. It was getting warm. <laughs> These are our hot mitts, of course. Okay, let's. We got the salmon on the grill. We right. got the Cajun seasoning there. Let me show you this baby here. We we did a on the on the big green egg right here. On the big sure. green egg, actually, it's the big green egg. It's a nice little mini max. Uh, they come in all different sizes. I did a cedar planking. Cedar planking we've done so many different times before. Salmon is delicious. It's the traditional on the cedar plank. The bottom of my plank is nice and charred because we had a little bit higher heat on the green egg. And the salmon is done. And I wanted to leave it kind of raw, kind of naked, if you will. And I apologize the word naked. But I didn't want to put any sauces or anything on there. I put a little bit of our grilling magic on top of there and the Cajun spices. Uh, but it's beaded white, and that's when that salmon is perfectly done. Firm to the touch and beaded white, that's when salmon is wonderfully done on the grill. Now, here's some great ideas for salmon. There, first of all, it's such a hearty cut of meat that you can do just about anything and everything with it. So what right. we did is we lined up a whole bunch of Cherry Delights from Country Ovens, and all these products are in the side of the store. And we lined up a whole bunch of their products here, and we're just going to take a little spoon. This happens to be, this is one of my favorites, that's the Cherry Jalapeno. Cherry nice jalapeno flavor. sauce, great little flavor. So as this is maybe on the grill or just for serving, you can put a little glaze of the cherry jalapeno over there. Mm. You can take some of their wonderful, and it really is a delicious barbecue sauce with cherries. So a cherry barbecue sauce, and you can maybe add that over the top and create a little decorative area that way. So you can do the whole salmon that way, and I'll just spread that with the same little fork. Or you can take some wonderful little cherry preserves, and there is no rhyme or rhythm and add a little cherry preserves over the top for serving. Beautiful. And if that weren't enough, let me just wipe that little fork, the uh, spoon off there. Uh, cherry Delight has some wonderful mustard, a cherry mustard that's phenomenal, not just for dipping pretzels, but it's great as a wing dip, mm -hmm. a dip for wings <laughs> and everything else. <laughs> Got me hungry already. I know, isn't I that the truth? So you can put a little mustard and serve it up that way. Or honest to goodness, as a glaze, while it's still on the grill, take a little bit of Cherry Delights cherry syrup and put a little glaze over the top of that. And you can serve it up that way and that just adds a beautiful glaze to it. So those are all the different ways you can decorate or serve salmon on the grill. And each and every one of those are going to be delicious, that's for sure. Now here's a great little recipe right here. We have some nice Wisconsin red skin potatoes. Wisconsin ah, yes, red skin potatoes. The red potatoes. I'm going to slice that baby directly in half. And we've done this recipe a few ways, but never with our great friends at Cherry Delight. Country Ovens, Forestville, Wisconsin. I'm simply going to cut it in half. We're going to pop that baby's shell, right, pop it right out of the shell, make a nice little pocket. I'm going to place those in a baggie like I did over here. And I used a little bit of the Cherry Delight's vinaigrette, the Cherry Delight vinaigrette, and that helps to hold the potato. So those are raw. They go directly on the grates of the grill, medium direct heat. And here's what you end up with. These babies are phenomenal. Mm. That is wonderful. That's a little shell that's all toasted, that's all done. So what we're gonna do is a little side dish for our salmon, Cherry Delight Salsa, Cherry Delight Salsa. And this is my favorite salsa, the Cherry Salsa. So we're gonna top each one of these in the pocket. Mm. Isn't that looking good so far? Yes, sir. So now we got oh. a pocket of, of beautiful south of the border in South Door. And I'll open up my Thank you. I was gonna, just going to say that. I go, wouldn't that be a lot better if you just had a little bit of uh, cheese in it? Oh, watch this. Through. Watch yeah, this. No, you're first, not done first yet. The first the jalapenos. Yeah, now we're talking. Just to spice it up. And then a little bit of grated cheese. And boy, this ain't the way you open baggies at home, but I'll tell you what. Oh, yeah, it is. It's just that you're doing it on TV it makes a big difference on there. Little mouths. There you go. We're going to put the hood down, and these are going to be ready as soon as that salmon is ready. And we'll show you some phenomenal eats. And we've got a lot more to cook in just a moment or two. So more of Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling coming from Forestville, Wisconsin. Yes, sir. Southern Door County, a place of destination. Countryovens.com. Be right back. It's going to be good, huh? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Look at that salmon. From Southern Door, Wisconsin, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. I'll tell you what, just like I promised you, it's oh, been 12 beautiful, minutes. beautiful, sir. Look at that gorgeous salmon. Beat it white to the top. The Cajun spices are upon there. Now we need a little bit of sauce to go with that. Ah, the good old sauce. So the sauce, we went ahead and used some syrup on there. As you can tell, we got the dried cherries. I got some fresh lime. Now we're going to sweeten this up with some brown sugar. 
I know this seems like a lot of brown sugar, but I like it oh, really nice and thick. Much. Stir that around there. That won't take that long. Let's show those spuds. Let that stir up just a second All or right, two. All right, sounds good. We're going to get that over the salmon in a minute or two. But these spuds, these, I know. Are, these are the most phenomenal things you'll ever had. I'll guarantee you. You got to use Cherry Delights <laughs> salsa and with that cheese over the top and those jalapenos on those halves of Wisconsin red skin potatoes and you got yourself a wonderful little flavored meal like you wouldn't That's believe. That's fantastic. Isn't it that really wonderful? is. I mean the flavor on that, especially with the cheddar and the jalapenos and the salsa. Hmm. Now I'll tell you what, I'm going to have a little problem here. Okay, but we're now be this. careful. Well, the biggest problem is it's hot. Is this a, this is going to be just a little glaze. So all we're going to do is just drizzle a little glaze. I don't want to go too much, but you got it. No, I don't want to go too much at all. Just glaze the top just a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. There we go. Just enough to glaze the top of that mm. and serve it up. Let me just tip that a little bit here. We got the shadow of the American flag in us. There and that's go. no problem whatsoever. We'll do that any day for the American flag. Uh, there we got the beautiful salmon, the beautiful potatoes, everything that we wanted to, to accomplish on that turned out really well. Something went wrong I want to quit right now and just go ahead and eat. Is that okay? <laughs> so what do you got going hey, there, Hey, a little sweet potato, man. You can't go wrong with sweet potatoes on the grill. Yes, sir. They're also one of my favorites, too, in the good old spud family. But all I'm going to do is, you can tell, I peel the sweet potato. Sweet potatoes have got sugar in them, so they're going to cook a lot more faster than your regular potato. Yes, see. But all what I'm going to do, actually, is just go ahead and quarter this. In quarters, and this does not take long to do at all whatsoever. Now you can do them lengthwise, you've done the others lengthwise. Use a little bit of vinaigrette, I'll put them in a bag, and just go ahead and put the vinaigrette in there if you wanted to, the oil, but the cherry vinaigrette, it's a really nice flavor to yes, it. Yes, it does. Nice it really little does. caramelization to it. Too. It really does. So now what I did, and, and I got some chicken drumsticks. I had them over here on the on the grill here, and I switched them back over for a little smoky flavor. We got them all on the big green egg, and we're together going to make a little glaze and reglaze our sweet potato wedges and the chicken drumsticks with some wonderful products. So I got a big old bowl here, and okay. the first thing I'm going to do is a Cherry Delight barbecue sauce, Cherry Delight syrup, all right, a little bit of rice vinegar, and a little bit of soy sauce, a splash okay. or two of soy sauce. And I'm going to add a little bit of the, uh, the I was going to do the preserves, but then I remembered they had the cherry jalapeno. And so we're going to add a whole bunch of that cherry jalapeno in there. And I'm simply going to give that man. a little You're stir. The man. Mm. And now to be food correct, I'm going to take Merrill's sweet potatoes first. All right. And I'm going to add his sweet potato wedges inside that little glaze. We're going to give them a little stir. Mm-mm-mm. And I just, I'm going to show you these here. We're okay. going to place these back on the grill and give them a little glaze. But they are just beautifully glazed. That cherry syrup and that cherry barbecue sauce. Better caramelize it even more. Better. Oh, God. We're going to get those right back on the grill. Yeah, baby. And we're going to get those searing on our MHP grill. What better grill to do these on than an MHP? Let me tell you that, folks. Oh, I wish the smell of it was on. It's just phenomenal. Now we're going to take the chicken drumsticks, and I'm going to do the same gosh darn thing. We're going to take the chicken drumsticks. And these have already been cooked through. They're nice and browned up, done perfectly on both the MHP and the green egg, by the way. And I'm going to do the same gosh darn thing. A little swirly? Little, get a little <laughs> swirl over the top of that. Get the action going. Get a little glaze going. Get those babies nice and caramelized. And we're going to throw those back on our MHP. And we're going to get those there glazed up. And when we come back for the next segment, we're going to do desserts and serve up our sweet potatoes and chicken drumsticks. Life is good, folks. Don't Life forget to go online. Good. Don't forget to go online at countryovens.com, countryovens.com uh, for all your holiday gift, gift boxes, for all your needs. Make it a destination. And you can find it in great grocery stores all over the Midwest, by the way. You can, yes. Grocery stores look for Cherry Delight products, but make it a destination. When you come to Door County, Southern Door area, Forest Bell, it gets me all choked up every That's time okay. I think. It's okay. Is it okay? It's okay. Can we come you back can, for the segment? Forest Bill. We'll right Forest Bill. We'll you be got right it. Back. View past episodes of our show by going to maddogandmerrill.com and click on Midwest Grillin'. Hey folks, Mad Dog and Merrill here. I'll tell you what. Mm, 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 man. Uh, doesn't that look delicious? I love it. Uh, we're using these uh, Golden Home Ultra Thin Pizza Crusts. These are the whole wheat ones. And we're going to do a Midwest pizza to beat all Midwest pizzas. Homemade ketchup, sauerkraut, onions, and a little mustard in there. So that's our pizza base. 
So we use a little bit of our dough works on top of there. Simply spread that baby out. Add the good old fashioned sauerkraut from Wisconsin. Gotta have the sauerkraut. Sir. Browned up leftover sausages that we love so much. A little bit of onions on top of there, some grated cheese, a nice warm heat on the grill, and all you're doing is toasting the bottom of the shell a little bit, and it comes out just as delicious as this little baby here. Good job, sir. Thank good you. Job. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. We are in beautiful Southern Door County. We certainly are. We're having a great time here today. You know, a little bit earlier we had a, a nice group of ladies come through. And, and welcome to get a nice group of 16, 18 people together like the ladies that came through. And we served them up this gorgeous cherry pies. I made a bunch of them a little bit earlier on. And they were just all feasting on those. And you can sample, by the way, products that we didn't use that country ovens have on the inside. They've got uh, a small packages of like uh, trail snacks and things like that with the, with the uh, cranberries and the blueberries and the, and the cherries in with cashews and soy nuts and things. And they've got uh, uh, chocolate coated cherries, That's which are phenomenal, favorite, yeah. dark and, 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 and regular milk chocolate. They got a whole array of those to taste and they actually are phenomenal. So they got nice little snacks. So if you're in the area, you need a little energy, uh, what better way to do it? And by the way, I use cherries all the time, dried cherries for my uh, arthritis I have in my fingers yes. and my hips. And it really does help out a lot. Let, let's on, let's do a little okay. unveiling here. Uh, these are those gorgeous <laughs> sweet potatoes that they're, we did on the They're grill. just absolutely great. Remember, I mean, they're caramelized really good. They got a sugar uh, base in them. So they don't take as much long to cook. These actually 15 to 20 minutes ready to take them off. They're yeah, just they phenomenal. are fast. And once they go, they go. Oh, man. So, so we have those gorgeous those. little sweet potato wedges. The chicken drumsticks turned out wonderful. Uh, that little bit of glaze caramelizes them, like Meryl said, so gosh darn fast. And there is no right or wrong when you're grilling. It's just a matter of doing it. In fact, those little potato redskins were a little bit burnt on the edges. Yeah. And one of the nice little ladies that came through before goes, oh, you burnt those. <laughs> Just the way I like them. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Well, I do right. like them that way too. Once even in the pan fry. You know, this is like. that little syrup sauce that we made for the salmon. So there's no right or wrong. That can be drizzled right over the top of those sweet potatoes if you want to to serve those up. There is no mm. right or wrong. Just there make sure you take not. the right direction to Forestville, Wisconsin, in the Southern Door County area. So you can make it your first destination when you show up and your last destination when you leave. Not that we're kicking you out. No, no, you stay right here. Stay right here, don't So leave. here's the little desserts that I made. Uh, these are great, these are, and I'm gonna put one little plug in, I apologize, Mr. Jeremy over there. Our good friends at Country Ovens uh, make a wonderful, Country Ovens, Quaker Bakery, make yes. a wonderful golden home pie crust, and it goes well with the cherry pie filling, and it's the best gosh darn cherry pie filling you ever have, cherry delight pie filling. So I'm taking a little bit of great cheese spread, and this is my favorite way to do it. The recipe on the, the award-winning recipe from 2014 on the website at countryovens.com has a cream cheese base, and it's really, really good. But I thought cream cheese, cheddar mm. cheese, sounds the same to me. Uh, and then I'm gonna do one thing different. I got one of these little apple caramel. Oh, great idea. And so I'm gonna do a little caramel spread over the top of that. Those That's what this one is over here. It looks All like right, absolutely those delicious. ladies are gonna say, well, you never gave us any caramel. <laughs> <laughs> and the Cherry Delight Cherry Pie filling. I'm sorry I don't have any spoons left. Yeah, I got right. them all dirty. You need one? Uh, you got them in your pocket, don't I always, you? I always carry a spoon with me everywhere where I go. Got to be good, Johnny, on the spot. So the key is the cherry pie filling on top. Now those little pizza crusts, I've got them on a low direct heat so that I fire up the bottom of the crust. It crispens up the crust. You can do a couple things. You can keep them at low direct and it doesn't take very long at all. And I'm talking about seven minutes, six minutes at the most. Uh, but those go directly on the grates of the grill on a nice low heat in about six, seven minutes, they crunch up. And I was kind of complaining, mm. but I think that one turned out, you can't see the bottom of that crust, but can you? Yeah, it just turned out just absolutely wonderful. And that's a way, way, great way to do pizzas on the grill. No, the flavor on that, especially with those pizza crusts, you'd really be amazed. We were at Grill Fest last week. We just did regular pizzas on it. And people were just amazed at the flavor on those. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take one of those, too. You're but they're better one. with cherries on. They sure are. No <laughs> doubt about it. Huh? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, mm. man. Isn't that wonderful? Mm. The cheese spread, the caramel, the cherry pie filling. And I, 
I don't know, there's gonna be a shot right in front of you right now. And it's on a little board. And I actually took one of the Pillsbury pie crust and I rolled it out and I crunched the edges so it had a, like a little lip all the way around. And I filled it up with about three quarters of that pie crust filling. And I put them on this, the pizza stone. So I actually baked the pie on top of the pizza stone, medium direct heat, un heat underneath it on the, on the MHP for about 17 or 18 minutes or so and it turned out just absolutely wonderful. So we're gonna be right back. We're at Cherry Delight Country Ovens, Forestville, Wisconsin, having a great time. We're gonna, we're gonna be back. We're gonna eat all this platter Boy, before we get back. This right here is a bench made of Isn't that delicious? It's honest to goodness, it honest really to goodness. Is. Best really cherry is. pie filling in the world. Hmm. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Well, I guess what folks, I bet the sign says it all. So we're gonna fill our mouths. Have a great one. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is a production of Lashbro Visual Communications.